Okay. So when it is erected, either you get 4.7 inches. Either you get 4.7 inches like this, or 6.3 inches such as this one. Welcome back to the channel with Lucius right here on Lucius Exit with another video. Guys, it's been a very long time, about two weeks now. A lot of things are happening to me at the same time. Yo, like, I just feel like dividing myself to a kind of do everything, but Charlie, I'm so choked. And then I find little time just to, 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 to create video and then uh, post for you guys. So please forgive me for that. Things will settle and then I'll be back back to back on the screens again this video is probably sponsored by Navantrix consort are you a nurse a midwife or health assistant uh, certified by the Ghana uh, by the Ghana health service uh, you are certified you have your code you have your number everything if you want to work in the UK as a professional nurse if you want to work in the UK Canada uh, look no further than Navantrix consort the legit way and the most perfect way to relocate to the UK and work as a nurse a midwife in Canada and the UK. Yeah, so that's it. The numbers will be flowing on your screen as you can see. The Vantage Consult, they are there for you throughout the, throughout the process. The exam that your IELT uh, exams need to qualify you, they will help you learn and then we will gonna write that exam. If you pass, you are off to Canada or the UK. Simple as it is. That's it. I'm about to consult for you. Guys, today's video is for the men. Yeah. For the big boys. If you're a male, if you're a man, if you're a guy watching me, if you have balls, you know, you're watching me, this video is for you. There's a lot going on in this generation that men are under pressure to have big manhoods uh -huh, before they can satisfy their ladies. Let me burst the bubble. Yeah. If you're a man and you are having 5 inches, 6 inches, 3.5 inches, you have not failed. This video will show you that you have not failed at all. The average in this size, the average man who size, there's none of you here who is, who is below 18 years old. So I say everything raw as it is. Let's get straight to the video and you're going to learn a lot. Let's go. Average penis size is our topic for today. And as you can see, I hold in my hand this normal tape measure you all know, which is normally used by carpenters and other masonry workers. Okay. Today I'm going to use it to show you uh, how a normal penny size should look like so that you will appreciate. Yeah. When the penny size is in the flask, so that you appreciate, yes, you appreciate what God has given you. You will not go about looking for medicines to enlarge and then enhance it. Yeah. Said state. When it is not yet erected, when it is in a flaccid state, the normal average size should be either 3.5, 3.5 inches, 3.5 inches like this, I have a or let me see. seven or 3.9 inches, such as this one. When it is in a flaccid state, wow. when it is in a flaccid movement, okay. and then the circumference too should be either the circumference the get should be either four point should be either 4.0 inches such as this one or 4.5 inches 4.0 inches okay 4.0 inches like this or 4.5 inches like this that's the get that's the circumference okay, okay? that's the circumference when it is in a flaccid state meaning when it's not yet erect uh -huh. when power is not yet in it when blood has not been pumped into it for Erection. Let's go. I repeat, when it is in a flaccid state, the length should either be 3.5 inches or 4.9, 3.9 inches, such as this one. And then the circumference should be either 4.5 inches, 4.5 inches, okay, 4, 4, 4.0 inches like this or 4.5 inches okay. like this. That is when it is in a flaccid state. Okay. Now, when it is in the erected state, when it is erected, mm -hmm. the normal length should be the normal length should be four point seven, four point 
seven inches like this inches when it is erected, erected fully erected, or six point three inches like this. Okay. So when it is erected, either you get four point seven, mm -hmm. four point seven inches. Either you get four point seven inches like this, okay. or six point three inches such as this one. Right. And then the okay. circumference, the get or the the the, the, the get or the circumference should also be either uh 4.5 inches 4.5 inches like this or 5.0 inches like this or 5.0 inches either 4.5 inches like this or 5.0 inches like this when it is fully erected i hope you've you've seen it and you have understood it the reason why i brought this topic for discussion is to ease some pressure from some men who are looking to enlarge their penis yes. and are jumping from one place to another. Yes, my brother. Repeat that again. Let's take this thing back. Repeat it again. Let it enter their medulla. Let it enter like Angra or Majinim. Uh -huh. Let it enter their, their, their memory. Those who are taking concussions and are helps to make their manhood big and are Hey, if you know what you are doing to yourself, sir, it, <laughs> if you know, if you really know what you are doing to yourself, eh? those taking Chinese medicine to, to make their manhood big so that they can satisfy her, you satisfy who? You can never satisfy any lady, you will die. You will tell you will die. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, you will die. I appreciate what God has given you. We can catch up. Looking for penis enlargement. If you are able to, or if yours is within the limits or the average limit, I beg you. And the average limit is this fully erected. One is a kind of thing, 4.7. That's almost 5 inches. And then the second one, when fully erected, is uh, 6, uh, kind of thing, 6.5. Uh, like a little bit over 6 inches. Uh -huh. That's average. So if you are between that range and you are thinking, oh, I am having a small manhood. You better be careful. You better be circumspect about the things you drink and you, the soaps you use to massage or whatever to, for, to, to have a long and light manhood. Ube u. Ube u. Ube jaya. Chai. Ya oche wa hon. Don't bother yourself because if you are already a grown up from 30, from 20 years mm -hmm. and above, I am sorry. sorry. There is nothing. You can do to increase the size. Oh, okay, meaning if you are 20 years and above, the penile growth is complete. The development of your penis is complete at 20 years. So, from 20 years and above, there's nothing you can do to it to, 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 to make it big or long or whatever. Unless you know your and at the, the long run, it will affect your sexual health. health. You better be careful, my guys, my men, my kings out there. It's better to have the small one and know how to use it. It's not about the thickness, the long, the, the, the matter. Somebody is having the long one, but he, he doesn't know how to use it. Somebody is having the short, like within the average mango size, and the wife is okay. So you better be respect. Think of your penis. The only thing, thing you can, can do is to make it very strong and make it very, strong, and and make it very hard. hard. And yeah. again, sexual intercourse is not about the size. Uh -huh. It's yeah. about knowing how to do it well, yes. touching the right place yes. of your partner. Yes, oh my God. It's as if I'm in the video. I've not watched it. I just downloaded it and then I want us to react to it and for you guys to learn. Let's turn it, let's turn it back a bit. Very hard. And again, sexual intercourse is not about the size mm -hmm. it's about knowing how to do it well mm -hmm. touching the right place mm -hmm. of your partner mm -hmm. and making her satisfied okay. that is all but the size doesn't matter if you are having this average size you have to be content with it yes. and save yourself from falling into a wrong hands okay. all in the name of penis enlightenment thank you very much that's the end of the video and i hope my kings you have learned a lot someone will say oh gracious is having a small hey no I know why I am. Uh -huh. So uh, it's, it's, it's so good I, I bring this thing on board for, for my guys who have 
who are a little bit below the range to, to, to just maybe ease that pressure off thinking oh I have to do this I have to do that and then your choice of women to uh, you can say, uh, contributes to it uh -huh. if you choose a woman whose body count is like maybe like the sun of the sea you suffer you will suffer I don't care what you think about me if her body count is plenty you have dated multiple guys like you you know you suffer because that your your 3.5 your 4.5 will, will do nothing to her so be circumspect when choosing uh, you can't say your wife do investigations uh -huh. do investigation like yo do investigation like if your name search things uh -huh. back door investigations to know who you are dealing with that's it for today guys i know you have learned a lot and then i've been so hard on this one Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, subscribe to the video, subscribe to the channel, and then there's more coming your way. We do more of these things: social, social stuff, faith, and uh, relationship and lifestyle. That's it for today. Gracious is my name here on Gracious Reactions. See you in the next episode. You know how we do it. Peace. Shalom.